Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with Kara again. We have another first impressions video for you today. We're going to go ahead and discuss several 4160 Tuesdays fragrances. And if you're in the USA, you can have a chance at winning one of the fragrances we're going to do impressions of for a giveaway. So please stay tuned. So if you watched a video I did several months ago for 4160 Tuesdays Maxed Out, I wanted to explore the brand more, so I decided to contact Sarah McCarthy, the owner of 4160 Tuesdays, and asked for some samples. And I've heard great things about the fragrances. I like everything about Maxed Out, and I still have my bottle here, and I'll put it on occasionally, but the cumin note in this one was just a little too strong for me, even though I'm a huge fan of cumin in fragrances. So I have to wear it very, very carefully, and. Uh, wear it when I'm not around a lot of people. So I wanted to find out more about the 4160 Tuesdays line. So I have my friend here, Kara, and she's really curious about 4160 Tuesdays yes. as well. So let's go ahead and give there's her a, a try. There's a few I'm really excited about. See. We have received several samples, like these little bonbons. We just don't know what this This is so adorable, by the way. Look at this. Look at this rainbow of like little candies. Candies. This is adorable. Okay, so let's try this. We one. don't know what they are. We're just gonna open them up and sample for you. <laughs> And you're going to read for me because I'm blind I can't read. Okay. Here we have... Who knew? Okay. Who knew? Who knew? It's like Christmas of the days. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> I love the way that she put these together. Wow. Beautiful. Who knew? Who knew? I didn't. So, do we have any yeah, write-ups about who knew? We don't there have a right up for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, who knew? <laughs> no, it's this just, one smells it's great. It's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. Well, can you figure out what the notes are? I, I'm having trouble. Let me smell again. It's, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, like, something, there's a floral and there, I think maybe a, some kind of resin, maybe. There's something resinous, there's something floral, there's something green, and there's something ambery. It's like a lot of good things. All done well. Well, we like this one, right? Yeah, definitely like this one. Who knew we like this one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the okay. next one. Sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and pick red. Red. I hope this is red. It is. <laughs> I'm not that blind. Yeah. <laughs> but you're gonna it's have green. to read it for me. Okay. The sexiest scent on the planet ever. Okay. And you know what? I remember reading about this. Um, probably because it has root sex in it. I remember it's like a lemon meringue. Ooh. So I love gourmands. You know what? Gourmand. I do too. Gourmand. I have been very excited about trying these. Interesting. It is def it's definitely lemony. Ooh. I like this. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me a little bit of, of Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Wow. Hmm. That's delicious. I like this one better than the first one. I like the first one better. But this is interesting. Well, I know the first one's more up your alley. It is. This is more up my alley. And I have many alleys. You have a lot of alleys. <laughs> <laughs> Meringue alley. It's cool. This I really is like how, it, yeah, I like this how is... it does have like a creaminess. Oh my it. god, this is yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Delish. <laughs> wow. This is called Sexiest Scent on the Planet ever. It's really good. Ever. It's really, really good. <laughs> the Dark Heart of Old Havana. Okay, let's try that one. Yes, let's spray it again. This is the. I was really looking forward to this. This one is a tobacco. Tobacco? Mm -hmm. Honey? I think yes, tobacco and honey. The honey's actually strong. It's okay, it's not my favorite tobacco. It's not seems strongly kind of, tobacco-y. It seems like it's subdued, it's like kept mm -hmm. back, it's not coming out at me. It's also fruity. It's, Maybe it's the supposed to, fruit is yeah. kind of killing it for me. It's supposed to... I mean, I feel like, it, it, like it's supposed to be like Havana, whatever, like chocolate fruits and all that stuff. It's very pretty. But it's, it's definitely not broadcasting tobacco. No. <laughs> Let's try this one. Shazam. 
Is this? A, is there going to be an, an app for Shazam fragrances now? <laughs> yes. I'll Shazam to see what. Like, what is she wearing? What is she wearing? <laughs> oh, the Shazam app. Like, you really should. You should develop that. Really? Mm-hmm. Can Can I do that? Why not? <laughs> like, get a mass spectrometer on your phone. This is pretty amazing. It is kind of good. Ah. What are the notes? Let's see. It's woodsy. It's herbal. But it's also brightened up by lots of citrusy freshness. It is. I really like this one. Next to the sexiest... It's the spicy one. That you, yeah, yeah. Yep. This is really good. It's it's very you. I like it. It's it, I feel like she uses a lot of orange mm. in her fragrances. Like there's a, almost like an orangey feel to everything. There's an orange glow. There's an orange glow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the orange radiance. This is really good. I really like it's it. It's nice. It's kind of reminding me of Spice Bazaar. Yeah. From Nishan, but mm-hmm. it's different. This is a lot woodier. Like I'm picking up lots of wood. Cedar maybe. It's very cedary. It is cedary. And then maybe like lots of herbs, but really, really nice. Shazam. Coriander. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Midnight in the Palace Garden. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that movie? I did not. I recently saw it for the first time. I oh, heard yeah? about it in the nineties. Oh my god, I love this. I love it. It's a, there's orange in this too. It's a beautiful, beautiful citrus. Ooh. It's, this is kind of classy. Yes, I love it. Like I could see very formal attire wear, kind of thing like that. Mm-hmm. I like this one. But there's something green and herbal about it too. But there's mm-hmm. like darkness. Well, it's midnight. It's the midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm. Midnight in the... Palace oh, Garden. Palace Garden. Yeah. Oh, it's maxed out. Okay. <laughs> well, shall we... Oh, yeah, go ahead and spray that. I find this to be a fascinating fragrance. I'm very fond of the... I, I love all the leather and vanilla in it. It's sort of like everything that I would like in a perfume. And then the cumin is like, um, it's it's kind of like a dark companion. It's like just always there, kind of on the side, not even underneath, but just kind of parallel to the other scents. It's very interesting. I, it's strong. It's a very complex scent. I really, mm-hmm. really love it. It's just that cumin is overpowering. It's almost like when you have a group of friends you have one that's really loud. Yeah, the cumin is finish. really loud here. It's like, you just want to get rid of that friend. <laughs> no, yeah. Don't even come along <laughs> on this little party we're Don't going to. Don't invite the cumin friend. Yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's a very good scent. It's just, I have to wear it when I'm not around a lot of people. It's There's something in there that's really, really good. It's just that friend, that, that, that friend that's that like one always friend. sticking like, around. It's like, go it's away. Like, go home. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I think of maxed out, but I, I, that's a great scent. It's exotic. We just recorded this entire video, and then we had to record it again because the camera closed, but these were all wrapped up so cutely, beautifully. <laughs> and so we, we were like opening presents, opening them, and... Dang that camera! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just... We, we, we can't open them again for you, but yeah. We opened the first two for them. We did. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Paradox, which is cool. Look at this font. If I could see it, that'd be cool. It's very cute. <laughs> it's like a futuristic little font. This one definitely is a paradox. It is. That's zingy. It's very peppery. Mm-hmm. Zing. Capsaicin. Capsaicin, yeah. But with, with like. It's not too hot. I mean, it's hot. It's like bite, like. But it's cool. It's have you ever had jalapeno cool. jam? I have. It kind of reminds me it of jalapeno yeah. jam. Wow, you're right. Yeah, because it's like extremely spicy, but also cooling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very interesting. I like that one. It's almost like an experiment. Mm-hmm. Spritz a little bit on your salad. You have <laughs> zing. Do not eat fragrances. <laughs> <laughs> they are not for human consumption. All right, so let's try let's this. Do that one. One, yeah. What do we have here? What is this? This is who knew. Wait, we did this first. This is we already did this. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that one. That's Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> Shazam. This is one. Is this the sexy new sex? 
No, dirty honey. Okay, dirty honey. Dirty honey. Dirty honey. How dirty can you make that honey? <laughs> Alright. You know, the dirt is kind of clean. <laughs> the dirt is slightly earthy. I get white, Not that dirt. white musk hair. Maybe that's but a very thing. dense, thick, molasses-y white musk. Yes. And that's probably from the honey. Because mm -hmm. honey is all dense and thick and molasses-y. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. I like this one. It is. It's nice. Actually, you know what? It's now some, I'm getting some of the, the earthiness. It's definitely earthy. I think the dirty comes from the earth. Mm -hmm. It's not like a dirty. The dirty comes from the earth. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Alright. Yeah. Okay. What's this one? This is my favorite. This is Kiss by the Fireside. Aww. Which is <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a great name. I absolutely love so the names of these fragrances. Yeah. She has really clever names for fragrances. And this is a really good one. Yeah. This is really good. I like this one. Some of my favorite fragrances are like syrupy fireplace. And this is that. This is like just a, a lovely smoky, like extremely smoky PD resin. Like like a delicious whiskey. I like this one. It, re it reminds me of a city on fire, mm -hmm. but it's greener. It reminds me of Solis. Oh, Brooklyn, you're from, mm -hmm. you're from in Brooklyn. Let's try this one. Delicious. We tried all of these, as, as she is. said, but <laughs> the camera that you're recording from ruined it for us. Now we have to do it all over. That's fine, actually. Having a good time doing it over. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a little social lubricant here. <laughs> oh, Inevitable Crimes of Passion. Ooh, that one's good. This one is good. And I love it. Crimes of passion. You love crime? Not. How could you? Not to commit crime, but <laughs> to watch it. This is good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites. This would be number two. Number two. I like the chocolate that they Where's have. Where's the chocolate? It's a, it's almost like a bitter chocolate. It's, it's like, it's there. right? It's, it's on like, it's floating a, at the, yeah. You're right, it is. But it's a very dusty it's chocolate. A, exactly. Maybe it's dusty, a cow. Yeah. Bitter yeah. cacao. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yes. It's a woody chocolate. It's a, it is a woody chocolate. It's like a woody, orangey That chocolate, chocolate. has a woody. <laughs> <laughs> what's next? I don't know what's next. Did we finish? Is that everything? Oh, what's Here. this? Be careful what you wish for. So the titles are so cool. Yeah, they're really cool. <laughs> Candy. Oh, this is a candy candy oud. incense, yeah, the candy. No, fruit and oud. Fruit oud, yeah. Fruit. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this one. It's very sticky, molasses-y almost. Resinous oud. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's youthful without being cloying. I like it. Candy. It kind of reminds me of like trying to appeal to young younger noses who are only used to wearing celebrity fragrances. Exactly. But you're kind of adding a little edge of oud in here. Mm -hmm. and, you know, fruit. And, and it's obviously well blended and well like made, it. you know. Yeah, I like this it's one. It's not a, like a fruit tea salad <laughs> fragrance. <laughs> yeah. Fruit. Fruit. Yeah. That's the latest trend, fruit. fruit. <laughs> the lion cupboard. Oh. That sounds, that sounds like Narnia. Doesn't it? Yeah. Turkish delight. This is awesome. This is like extremely woody. Now I'm getting chocolate sort of. and this is reminding me of for, uh, maxed out. Yes. Without the cumin. With some lots, lots more herbs or something. It would. It's so woody. I like this. Cedar. It's diet yeah, it maxed is. out. It is diet maxed out exactly. <laughs> no, I like that one a lot. It's Cool. Really, I would wear that one. Mm -hmm, me too. But I think my favorite would be sexiest scent on the planet ever. Because it's really sexy and yummy. So <laughs> no one smells like that. And your favorite? My favorite is the, the Kiss by the Fireside, which is, you know, burnt up and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> burnt <Charred>. kiss, burnt <laughs> kisses. <laughs> well, this was fun. Totally. I really love her fragrances. Now that I've smelled more than maxed out, I want to try some, and my favorite is Sexy Scent on the Planet Ever. 
and it's a few so others. It's just so colorful and fun. It's a very cool line. Really nice work. Yeah, thank you, Sarah, for sending these. Good stuff. So as mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, guys, there's a chance for one lucky winner to win one of these fragrances as a full bottle like this. All you have to do is be a subscriber here at Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great, like this video, and put one comment down and write down why you want to win a bottle and which fragrance would you like to have. And then also please put down what state you live in. This is only open to the United States. Uh, otherwise you will not qualify. All this information will have to be in the comment. All right, guys. Kara, thanks so much for coming and doing this with me again. Always a pleasure. Guys, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like this video and share it. And I'll be back with more videos very soon, as well as an announcement of who won the one bottle of 4160 Tuesdays. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you all later. Bye.